Hello and welcome to my simple screen printing tutorial. Have you ever wanted to spice up your wardrobe? Well, you came to the right place. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a Ron Weasley sweater from the Harry Potter series. If you are unfamiliar, it simply has a large R on the front. You don't necessarily have to use this design, but I happen to be a Harry Potter fan, and my name also happens to start with the letter R. With simple household items, you can customize clothing, accessories, or add finishing touches to a costume. All you need are the following materials. Alright, so our first item is a sweater. You can have a t-shirt or pants or whatever you want your screen print to be on. Uh, you can have it in whatever color you want, just try and choose one with a smaller knit. The chunkier knits will not work out quite as well with this method. Um, we also don't want to get a, an incredibly expensive t-shirt to start off with because if we accidentally make a mistake, then we have just ruined our brand new expensive t-shirt. If you have been doing this for a while and you know that you're not going to mess up, by all means, get that expensive t-shirt and have at it. But um, it's I personally don't want to mess up something that I just paid a lot of money for. So yeah. Uh, second, we need some wax paper. Uh, third, we need some paints, whatever color you want, fabric paints. Just make sure that uh, you read the instructions because screen printing fabric paint and normal fabric paint have different drying methods. So I have some specific screen printing paint. We also need some paint brushes. Sponge brushes, I found, can help distribute the paint a little bit more evenly. You can also use some normal paint brushes. Next, you will need a template for your screen print. You don't necessarily have to have a giant R. So, uh, so you just print that out on a piece of paper or draw it. We also need an iron to iron our wax paper onto the shirt. And we need a permanent marker in order to write on the wax paper. If it's like a water-based marker, it's not gonna work. So permanent marker. You will also need newspapers to make sure that your workspace doesn't get dirty. Um, a hard surface, such as a piece of cardboard, to stick in your sweater. Also so that the paint doesn't go through to the other side. Some scissors. Some tape. Also not pictured are a dryer. If you happen to be using the, the screen printing paint. Um, or if, you, if you're not using that paint and you're just using regular fabric paint, you will not need a dryer. Um, and an ironing board is the last thing. First, make sure that your print is the right size for your sweater. So I think this is a pretty good size. Tape down your template. Take a piece of wax paper that's big enough to cover it and just tape that down so it doesn't move around while you're trying to trace it. Now I'm going to cut out the R. Make sure if you've got little bits in the center that you save them. And there we have it. We've got our template ready. Make sure that when you iron it, your shirt is flattened out and spaced evenly. I'm going to try and center this as much as possible so I have the placement correct. Then gently lay down your template. It's kind of hard when your wax paper is curling. It's good to have a scrap piece of fabric to cover over your wax paper um, just in case to, uh, and to protect the iron. It wasn't until later that I realized I had made a terrible mistake. So I turned my iron up way too high and the wax paper didn't stick as well. It just melted on itself. So when you're doing this, try and set it at a low setting at first because otherwise it will not work as well as you will see later. 
because I made this mistake. Do not make this mistake. As you can see, my template did not quite get stuck down all the way because I used too much heat. If you're using dark colors, start off by using white because then your other colors will stand out more brightly. If you don't want quite as bright of an effect and you want a faded um, effect, then by all means just go ahead and put your normal color on. If I were to put yellow on this, it would probably just turn into a, a dark orangey color because when you mix yellow and dark red, that's what happens. So since I want this color to stand out, I'm going to first paint it with the white. My paint is kind of dry. I'm going to start out with the sponge, but since it is kind of dry, I'm going to end up using a normal paintbrush. Also, when you're painting, try not to paint towards the edge of the wax paper. Otherwise, it might uh, push it up and then paint will get out of the edge of your template. So what I'm doing is I'm starting on top of the wax paper and dragging the paint towards the middle. Um, so I'm using Versatex uh, screen printing ink for fabric and paper. You could probably get this or variations of this screen printing paint at the craft store. For this particular fabric paint, um, the drying methods are ironing on the reverse side for one minute at the highest temperature suited for the fabric type, a conveyor dryer at 350 for three minutes, or a commercial dryer for 250 for 45 minutes. So I'm going to do the last drying option. If you have normal fabric paint, you do not have to use these drying methods. You can just let them air dry and everything will be good. Ta-da! And here's the fun part. We get to peel off the um, wax papers. And now, after you peel it off, just touch up the edge, make sure that it's nice and smooth how you'd like, or if you wanted to go for a sort of mm, not quite perfect effect, then you can just leave it how it is. After we let that dry, we toss that thing into the dryer. It says 45 minutes, but I'm going to go with uh, 80 just to let it sort of heat up. Um, and then I'm going to make sure that it's on the highest setting so that it'll actually get up to the 250. And then start it. And here we have our finished product. I hope that this tutorial was able to help you learn how to screen print at home. If you have any questions, I guess leave them in the comments section. And I hope that you have a wonderful day and that you stay creative. Bye. I don't know how to end this. That's it.